Hey, what's going on, party people? You joined it for the first time. Welcome. Come on in. Happy to have you join us. I just wanted to give my thoughts on this EP 133 KO2. It's a lot of talk about this device, and I just figured I would give my thoughts. But who the hell am I? I'm just another producer, another creator, another guy that makes beats, another guy that makes music. And I just want to share with you guys. And if my thoughts can help someone else make an informed decision when it comes to purchasing his device or getting it or looking forward to it or anticipating it, then that's what I'm here to do. I like this device. Does it replace my girlfriend, the SP404 MK2? Absolutely not. And does it replace any of the NPCs that I own? Absolutely not. And it definitely doesn't replace any of my queens, any of my DAWs, Pro Tools, or Ableton. But that's not what it's here for. This is a completely different animal. It's designed to do a completely different thing. I hear a lot of people and complaining about the fader. Listen, don't be scared of this fader. If you want this device, get it. It's a lightweight sketch pad is what it is. That's all it is. It's a lightweight sketch pad. It's not built like a tank. You do have to baby it. Does it feel like a toy? Yes, it actually does feel like a toy, but it's fun. That's what I think makes it fun. But you have to baby this. It's delicate. You can't bang on the pads. You can't throw it around. You can't just, you know, toss it in your bag and throw it on the floor and stuff like that. You can't do that with this device. It's not built that way. It's not designed that way. Go into it knowing that. Go into it knowing that it's delicate. Don't try to compare it to the SP. It's not the SP. Don't try to compare it to the NPC. It's not the NPC. It's none of those groove boxes. It's its own animal. It's its own device. But I have to be honest, out of any of the devices that I have, I've had the most fun building drums and building patterns on this thing right here. And I build drums in like two minutes, three minutes. I mean, I've built beats on this the quickest out of any device that I had. I must say that. I don't know why. Maybe it's the simplicity of it. Maybe it's the fact that it has a lot of limitations. Those limitations actually help because it forces you to be creative. It forces you to push the envelope to go a little bit further because everything is not laid out for you. That's the beautiful thing about this device. Let me get into the limitations. It doesn't fit into the ecosystem of a producer's studio just yet but i do believe and i hope that teenage engineering puts out some huge updates to make this thing compatible with all the other devices that we had you can't really export your projects properly out of this you can there are some workarounds there's videos out there i'll do some videos on it but who wants to do all of that we want to start something here and we want to expand and grow it in our other devices. 